Eduphoria is the name of a suite of products that enhances productivity of you, the teacher, but also of administrators, campuses, and the district as a whole. There are four applications that are used widely by most teachers, Workshop, Forethought, PDOS, and AWARE. There are additional modules that are available, but most are underutilized right now. Eduphoria is a web-based application, so you can access Eduphoria anywhere you can access the Internet. On your very first login into Eduphoria, the system will ask you to verify your identity. Please make sure that you read the screen carefully and you respond appropriately. This district reuses your username, so it is possible that your username has been used before. A former employee may have been assigned your current username in the past. Again, the first time you log in to Eduphoria, you'll see a screen displaying a name, a first and last name. At the bottom of the screen, there are three choices. Yes, this is me and my information is correct. Yes, this is me, but I need to update that information. No, this is not me. If the name listed is your name, then everything's cool. Say, yes, this is me, and go on. But if the name listed is not your name, be sure to check that this is not your name. If you fail to do this, the previous employee's data will be mixed up with your data. After you respond to that screen, you will be asked to select your campus, your primary role, whether you're a teacher or prepare professional or administrator, your subject taught, and its grade level taught. If you teach at more than one campus or more than one grade level or subject, you can select more than one choice. For example, if you're a seventh and eighth grade math teacher, you would select seventh and eighth grade. If you're an elementary teacher, you probably will be teaching reading, writing, math, science, social studies, so to select all of those. You will then select an electronic signature challenge question and answer. You will use this to digitally sign evaluations. And finally, you'll be asked how many years of service you have had on your current campus.